Section 1. Alertness. In this section, you'll learn about observing what's going on around you, being seen by other road users, being aware of other road users, anticipating what other road users are going to do, keeping your concentration on the road, avoiding distractions. Alertness. Being alert to what's going on around you is vital to driving safely and will help you to avoid dangerous situations. Observation and awareness. It's important to be aware of what's happening around you while you're driving, including other road users, pedestrians, signs and road markings, weather conditions, the area you're driving through. Keep scanning the road ahead and to the sides and assess the changing situations as you drive. Before you move off, you should use your mirrors to check how your actions will affect traffic behind you. Look around for a final check, including checking the blind spots around your car. Signal if necessary. Definition Blind spot The area behind you that you're unable to see in mirrors. Getting a clear view. If you can't see behind you when reversing, ask someone to guide you to make sure that you reverse safely. If your view is blocked by parked cars when you're coming out of a junction, move forward slowly and carefully until you have a clear view. Overtaking. Observation is particularly important when you're overtaking another vehicle. Make sure you can see the road ahead clearly, looking out for vehicles coming towards you. Whether you're near a junction, vehicles could come out of the junction while you're overtaking. Whether the road gets narrower, there may not be enough space for you to overtake. Bends or dips in the road, which will make it difficult for you to see traffic coming towards you. Road signs that mean you must not overtake. Before you overtake, check that it's safe, legal, and necessary. You have enough time to complete the overtaking maneuver. Being seen by others. It's important for other road users to know you're there. Switch on your lights when it starts to get dark, even if the street lights aren't on. Where you can't be seen, such as at a hump bridge, you may need to use your horn. If you're following a large vehicle, stay well back. This will help the driver to see you in their mirrors. Staying back will also help you see the road ahead much more clearly. This is especially important if you're planning to overtake the vehicle. Tip. Remember, if you can't see a large vehicle's mirrors, the driver can't see you. Anticipation. Anticipation can help you to avoid problems and incidents so that you can drive more safely. For example, a give way sign warns you that a junction is ahead, so you can slow down in good time. Look at the road signs and markings. These give you information about hazards. You should follow their advice. Slow down if necessary. Circles give orders. Triangles give warnings. Rectangles give information. When turning right onto a dual carriageway, check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle to stop in, especially if you're towing a trailer. Do this in case you have to wait before joining the traffic. If there's not enough space for your vehicle, only emerge when it's clear both to the right and left. Definition Dual carriageway a road that has a central reservation to separate the carriageways. Definition Central Reservation An area of land that separates opposing lanes of traffic. If you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time, be prepared to stop because they may change. Road conditions will affect how easy it is to anticipate what might happen. It's more difficult when the weather is very wet or windy. The light is poor. The traffic volume is heavy. The route you're driving is new to you. In these conditions, 
you need to be particularly aware of what's happening around you, anticipating what other road users might do. Watch other road users. Try to anticipate their actions so that you're ready if you need to slow down or change direction. Be aware of more vulnerable road users. Watch out for pedestrians approaching a crossing, especially young, older, or disabled people who may need more time to cross the road. Cyclists always pass slowly and leave plenty of room, especially if the cyclist is young and may have little experience of dealing with traffic. Motorcyclists who may be difficult to see. Horses. Which may be startled by the noise of your vehicle, pass them slowly and leave plenty of room. Always be ready to stop. However well prepared you are, you may still have to stop quickly in an emergency. Keep both hands on the wheel as you brake to help you to keep control of your vehicle. Staying focused. Driving safely takes a lot of concentration, as well as controlling the car. You need to be aware of what's happening on the road and what could happen next. Stay focused on driving and try not to get distracted. Always plan your journey so that you know which route you need to take. Have regular rest stops. Avoiding tiredness. You won't be able to concentrate properly if you're tired. It's particularly easy to feel sleepy when driving on a motorway, especially at night. So. Don't drive continuously for more than two hours. Keep fresh air circulating in the car. If you start to feel drowsy, leave at the next exit. Find a safe and legal place to stop and take a break. Tip: Stop in a safe place and have a cup of coffee or another caffeinated drink. Remember that this is only a short-term solution. It isn't a substitute for proper rest. If possible, take a short nap. Distraction. It's easy to be distracted by what's happening in your car. Devices such as phones, music players, and navigation systems can divide your concentration between the road ahead and what you're hearing. Losing your concentration or just taking your eyes off the road for a second could be disastrous. At 60 miles per hour, your vehicle will travel 27 meters in one second. Be careful that your passengers don't distract you. Joking about or having an argument can pull your attention away from the road for vital seconds. Using a mobile phone while you're driving is illegal. It also drastically increases the chance of being involved in a collision. Even using a hands-free phone isn't safe because you can still be distracted from driving by making a call. Be safe. Switch your phone off or put it on voicemail. Wait until you're parked legally in a safe place before you use your mobile phone to retrieve any messages, make any calls, send or receive texts, go online. If you're driving on a motorway, you should leave the motorway and stop in a safe place before using your phone. If you have a navigation system, stop in a safe place. Before programming the system, you could also be distracted by something that has happened on the road, such as an incident on the other side of a motorway. Don't slow down or try to see what's happening. Continue with your journey and keep your concentration on your driving. Meeting the standards, the national standard for driving sets out the skills. Knowledge and understanding that DVSA believes are required to be a safe and responsible driver. If you know, understand, and are able to do the things described in the standard, then you'll not only be in a great position to pass your test, but will also be well on your way to becoming a safe driver for life. You can view the national standard for driving at www.gov.uk. You must be able to decide if you're fit to drive. You shouldn't be too tired, too ill, too emotional, under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Manage your passengers 
so that they don't stop you driving safely. Be aware of what's around you, nearby and far away, at all times. Drive at such a speed that you can always stop in the clear space ahead of you. You must know and understand how a poor seating position and bad posture can make you tired. How to deal with passengers if they make it hard for you to concentrate on the road. That some cars have large pillars that block your view and how to deal with this. How to read the road ahead and be prepared for the unexpected. Think about which clues can you use to help you anticipate what other road users might do. For example, a filling station at the side of the road could mean traffic slowing down to pull in or vehicles pulling out. Why is it important to keep well back from large vehicles? What might you use to plan a long journey and how would you make sure you took breaks at suitable points? Can you find a way to remind yourself to switch off your phone or put it to voicemail before you begin driving? Things to discuss and practice with your instructor. These are just a few examples of what you could discuss and practice with your instructor. Read more about alertness to come up with your own ideas. Discuss with your instructor what you need to take into account before overtaking. For example, road markings, bends, etc. What could distract you while driving? For example, friends, loud music, etc. How to avoid getting bored while driving long distances. Practice with your instructor. Your observation when making a turn in the road. Your alertness to other road users on narrow country lanes. Your ability to ignore your mobile phone. Arrange for someone to call you during your lesson so that you can practice your reaction. Although the official highway code advises you to turn your phone off while driving, sometimes you may forget.